Welcome back to the latest edition of NBC Sports Weekly News with more sports action from the Blue Planet. Alengi takes a St. Petersburg and Act 4 of the Extreme Sailing Series, but not without a fight. Keeler Vohe is still in full sail after 132 years as Team Germany dresses in gold. The highlights, the results, and the party. Freestyle pros are back on the world tour. Ofringa and Toad win the PWA Bonaire Cup season opener. Power Mania Team Faza captures the Streza Grand Prix in the X-Cats World Series on Lake Maggiore, Italy. Virtual update and real sailing challenges with senior correspondent Sebastian Deslemont. Plus, so much more. NC Sports plunge into the action. Alinghi and the Wave Muscat once again faced off for the lead in Act 4 of the Extreme Sailing Series in St. Petersburg, Russia. But this time, it all came down to the last the six of 22 regattas as five teams approved that they were up to the challenge. Yes, the gap is tightening on the world's prime 40-foot catamaran circuit. And with the big names joining in, this season is a whole different game. 10 to 15 knots uh, swept the race course in front of the picturesque palace embankment in a city that has vowed uh, to become the national sailing capital. Reportedly, the first uh, Russian challenge through the America's Cup uh, could start from here. The double point final turned into a shootout, but didn't change things at the very top. The Omanis needed to stay seven boats ahead of the Swiss, yet that was too tall an order even for the reigning world champions, also aided on tactics by double Olympic gold medalist Sarah Ayton. St. Petersburg, what a great city, what a great venue, and uh... You know, it's a halfway point in the season, and so it's nice to like put a little stamp on uh, you know our uh, our win and, and you know, let the guys know that we're we're here to try to win it this time. And uh... with the marks on our head, you know we've won two seasons in a row, and and uh, we were just the you know objective really was just to stay in the race, you know, for the beginning of the year and not put ourselves under too much pressure on, on the overalls to have to to do a huge amount and only three points behind Alinghi, that can change in one event. Emirates Team New Zealand confirmed it can spoil anyone's party, especially now that Peter Burling has paired up with strategy guru Ray Davies. It paid off with a third place overall, just two points behind Lee McMillan and 14 behind Morgan Larson. The new British challenger to America's Cup 35, Ben Ainsley's bar team, showed some real progress here in St. Petersburg, taking away an important fourth place overall finish behind the Kiwis. French superstar Franck Amand Groupama instead saw a bitter end to his Russian affair, closing in 11th place. Next uh, stop for the Extreme 40 Cats will be Cardiff, UK for the last week of August. Be there with NC Sports. In what is possibly the world's largest uh, sailing festival, the famous Kilerboche Classic uh, took over the scene as 5,000 yachtsmen and women from 50 countries descended on this beautiful city on the Baltic Sea with their 2,000 yachts, dinghies, and surfboards to take part in over 400 regattas. If you're not here for the races, you're here for the party. While the Kiel Sailing City became the main epicenter, dozens of dockside activities also dotted the week-long calendar with special focus on culture and maritime tradition, including children's attractions, live music, discussion, and forum.
It all started 132 years ago. Then it became the sailing venue for the games of 1936, and the rest is history. Today, with over 3 million visitors arriving from all over the world, Kiel is a sailing. And besides drawing hundreds of different classes, it has always been a key appointment on the long road to the Olympics. Most athletes in the 11 classes selected for Rio 2016 answered the call of this ISAF event, and all eyes were, of course, on the German squad. Local national crews did dominate, starting with the Paralympic classes, as Heiko Kroger went virtually unrivaled in the 2.4 meters, much like trio Kroger, Prem, and Meinke taking the sonar. Plenty more gold uh, came in for Germany, first in the lasers with superstar Philipp Buhl closing a hat-trick after wins in the last two editions. Eric Heil and Thomas Plosel also dressed a 49er file in black, red and yellow. And finally, Nina Wagner and Elizabeth Panushka sealed the deal in women's 470s. In other results, Tatiana Dostovskaya takes the laser radial for Bielorussia. Panagiotis and Kagalis of Greece take the men's 470s. Denmark's Alan Norregard and Lina Just capture the Nakra 17s. Estonia wins the Finns with Denis Karpak. And Chegoyan and Betansos clinch the 49er effects for Spain. Like every year, the Windjammer Parade culminated Keeler Bohe with more than 100 tall ships from all over the world, bringing back the same atmosphere of that very first 1882 edition. Kirito and Sarakita Ofringa are proclaimed the king and queen of the Caribbean after their successful PWA season debut at the Bonaire Cup for the Freestylers. With light wins for the final day of double eliminations, most athletes opted for their 4.8 to 5.2 square meter sails. In full form and with home court advantage, Thode faced off with Venezuela's Jose Goyito Estredo, winning a heart-stopping superfinal with a 2-1 score. On the overall scoreboard, the Bonairan pushed back Holland's top champ Steven Van Broekhoven and rising star Amado Vresvik taking in his first PWA podium. On the ladies' side, Ruben, reigning world champion of Fringa, also faced a strong Dutch squad. 16-year-old Maike Hoeveman and arch-rival Ariane Aukes were on her path. In an epic clash between junior and senior world champs, the two windsurfers put on their very best repertoire. Maike scored big with flacas on both tacks, a faultless punetas and a textbook funnel. Sarakita, though, showed who's boss with fantastic funnels, superb shakas, and new school power moves. More action coming your way from the Professional Windsurfing Association World Championship Tour, as nautical channel crews are now on location in Turkmenistan for the Awaza PWA World Cup. The full story in the next edition of MC Sports. The XCAT World Series uh, hit Lake Maggiore in northern Italy for the Stresa Grand Prix. And once again, uh, Team Zafa with Ari Falzafine and Nadir Bin Hendi stole the show, but not without some serious competition. As local crowds gathered to welcome the summer weather, Luca Fendi and Giovanni Carpitella of Team T-Bone Station came out strong in their home waters and in fact uh, snatched the early lead off the blocks here for this round one of the UIM Skydive Dubai XCAT World Series. The Emiratis, however, played their trump card on their mandatory lap five, and with an average speed of 89.6 knots versus 88.7, Arif and Nadir held back the Italians, closing with a final 22 second advantage.
Another six uh, seconds behind uh, François Pinelli and Saul Bupaco on Yachts Magazine's clinched a third place honors, underlying that this could still become a very tight 2014 championship. Welcome to the office. Yvon Bournion's challenge has arrived in Darwin, located in Northern Territory, Australia. 50,000 players are following the same route. At the top of the overall standing and carrying the US flag is Black Arrow. The next stage of this crazy world tour will begin on Sunday, June 22, towards Bali, Indonesia. We are also patiently awaiting for the upcoming start of the North Atlantic record. Standing by in New York are Bank Popular 7, skipped by Armel Le Cleache and Spindrift, led by Dona Betterly. As the two maxi trimarans are awaiting for the right weather window, so are we. The next event on the Tour Regatta is this Atlantic record. A nice uh, mix between uh, flip race and uh, record attempt. The players uh, will have all summer to find the ideal weather window. And as of next week, we'll also have the mighty Tour de France, an event dear to our heart. On another note, you've probably noticed the inshore game is in beta mode, so of course there are some bugs at the moment. Uh, remodeling it is a huge task and some players are giving their feedback to the game's developers, thanks to them. We received so many very precise feedback from the players. It's great, because for example, it has allowed us to pinpoint a very rare issue the game had and recreate the bug internally in order to fix it. And that's only thanks to the players' feedback. So a much better, more stable inshore game will be back very soon. The inshore game should be back to normal very soon. In other briefs, uh, you've seen what the tech can do at the last America's Cup 34. And it's here to stay, as flying has been confirmed for the next edition by the new protocol. That's why sailing is uh, rethinking its future at the Foiling Week, uh, happening now from July 4th to the 10th on Lake Garda, Italy's prime water sports stadium. Mixing competition, speed records and trials, this a spectacular new event brings together the foiling tribes from all over the world and on all sorts of different flying vessels. The catamarans, the monohulls and even the boards. If it foils, it's gotta be here. Plus, uh, some of the best uh, sailors and designers in the specialty will be exchanging views and comparing notes in an extraordinary bash dedicated to high-tech sailing. And you won't miss a thing as more NC Sports updates are coming your way. And for all offshore sailing fans, uh, stay tuned for this Saturday's premiere of the NC Sports Buzz. Hop on board and take a trip across the Atlantic on the powerful Mocha 60s at the New York to Barcelona race. Plunge to the action with NC Sports. <laughs>